way. What we really like about Flare Network is uh, uh, what we like to show with uh, the products we make is how uh, scalability factors like speed and low cost can benefit uh, decentralized products. So one of the products we create is a decentralized loyalty system where users uh, of our product earn tokens they can spend in our gift shop. Something very similar as the supermarket sticker promotions where people can save stickers to order a set of knives or a set of pens. So if you want to replace such a system with a decentralized solution and you're a big company with a lot of customers scalability becomes really important you you need to uh, you need the transaction costs stable and as low as possible uh, you also cannot let your customers pay for the loyalty program so low costs and speed come into play as very important factors to make such a thing user friendly so does a loyalty system need a decentralized solution it might not but this is a great proof of concept that flare network has solved some major issues for us decentralized app builders so another proof of concept we are building to showcase the immense power of Flare Network is a game we are building called PICO, which stands for Pixel Chain Olympics. So how crypto or NFT games generally work is you're playing a game and you verify the NFTs in your wallet that you own certain assets or a character with which you play the game. Or also you have play to earn where certain points you win in the game are sent to you in the form of tokens. However, not, you're not really interacting with blockchain during the gameplay in most cases. So in Pico, you play by playing with the actual NFT play cards you hold against someone else's NFT cards. To do this, you must make several transactions to start the game, play the game and end the game. This would be really annoying if these transactions would come with high transaction costs or would take much longer than a couple seconds to complete. Again, many reasons to use scalable network to keep the costs for the players of the game very low as they will be playing with relatively cheap uh, to buy NFT cards which are often burned during the game and the player will need to buy new ones regularly. So that's pretty much how the... Uh, okay.